okay. We've uh, we had a big lot of wind last time we had this up, and it's busted the uh, these adjustments on the awning. It's a bit annoying. And these go in like this, and in this particular one, the newer ones have two legs. In this one, you can only fit the one leg like that. So the ones that they provide you from the store all seem to be this long and that might be fine for some where you've got a, a, a single track for each but in this case it's way too long it's not going to fit so you need to cut them down so there's a little bit of trick to do that it wasn't too hard so I've done the one side what we're going to do is do this other side so pop this off and the first thing these are metal as opposed to the old ones which are plastic. This is the old one. Now one of these it's completely broken off. Completely broken off. And this end it gets bent. Now notice these are fairly thin too. In the newer ones, this one is quite a bit more solid. Although it's shorter. But that's okay. So... What we're going to do, these are, this is solid here, so the first thing is to cut this off the right length. Oh, mark it there, that's it, has to be less than that, including the other piece that goes in. Now this one I did was 1150 long, so if I make this the same, so there we go, it's 1150. That leaves a little bit of space for the other pipe to go inside. So first thing we'll do is we'll cut this off. Now, I just happen to have this xylus vice that I bought when I was about 18 or so at a, some sort of home show in uh, the exhibition in Brisbane. So it's, I've had it for years and years and years and it's, it's really proven it's worth now. I'd forgotten that, that these that I had these jaws. So what you can do with this is it'll hold round objects like pipes. So perfect situation for this. So I'm just going to first of all cut that off. Make sure the other bit isn't inside. Side so the other piece goes freely. We put this on the end. That looks about it. Now that one in there. Now the bit we need is this, now this is the one, you either take this end off and to do that I've just drilled out the little punch holes there, either that end or this end, but I figure you don't really want to lose that end inside if you can help it, so I'm leaving that end the way it is and I'm drilling out this end and taking this off, so what that means is that that can go into there and we want that to come to about there or so now that should be enough so I think I'll just take that for now
want to make sure that's smooth inside because we're going to slide in a little piece of plastic into there. So that's right there. Now, the only sort of tricky bit that's not too tricky is this here. just going to drill that so not to go through the plastic although I did a little I don't think that's going to matter and we go to the other side alrighty now why I did this well I cut this off short and then I use this which just fits nicely up inside So that's what you're looking for there. You want this piece. Now we want to go on the sides opposite to where that hole is that I had to drill. And you want to put a punch in here once it's in the pipe. Okay, now what we want to make sure of here, that's fairly, yeah, that looks fairly even. Now what we want to do is put a little punch mark in the opposite corner to that which is about there so I'm going to put that at the top so we're going to do a punch mark about there before I did it on the edge and this covered it so that was useless so I just had to guess then and run 180 degrees to that which is about there that'll do for a punch mark so I'm going to actually do this on the board. Now, I can't find my centre punch, so I've got an automatic centre punch. So it, of course, bounces on the spring. But by using this, it's not ideal, but it does allow me to give that a bit of a hit and hopefully to hold it. So, see how we go. It looks like that's worked, that's fairly solid. If anyone's got any better ideas on how you could get this to hold, I'd uh, leave it in the comments if you can. But anyway, that'll work there. So we're going to give this a try now. We've got this piece here. Well, yep, so that works. Let's spin this out here. And that's going to be long enough and it'll go all the way back in and the important part is it'll fit in there and miss that so all I need to do now is bolt this in okay so that looks like that's lined up we've got the bolt here This is a little fiddly. These were the bolts that came out of it. Well, the other end was, and I've matched it. Doesn't seem quite long enough for me. I don't know that it's actually getting to the part where it will stop it from coming loose. 
right now the socket. And we're going to screw that up. And there we go, that's tight. I'll have to see whether it stays tight or not. But try this out. If it's okay. Now, let's go this way. Now I've already drilled that one out. There we go, that works. one all right that's that side done now the other side I wonder if that's loose the other way oh that's better yeah it goes that way okay so we'll bring that back here and up a little bit further okay now the problem here is that that is too big for it so, so this is an 8 mil. I could have gone 8.5 mil, but there's not much aluminium there. So I want to do as minimal a hole as I can. So I'll just do that to make it a little bit bigger. And now I should be able to. Maybe not quite because the other one I need to defile this a little. Get off all the way around. So no. It's larger than eight millimeters. That should be okay. Okay, let's try that. There we go. That's a good fit. And now we'll tighten this up. So here we go. We've just we've just repaired the awning. Um, both these sides were broken we've replaced them with new we've cut them down from the ones that came because the ones from the shop are bigger than the, the existing I think they just give you a standard one um, and it's back to I mean it's still an old awning but it's back to working the way that it should and I only really need two ropes now so that's good <laughs> Thank you.